so today we will talk about first the assignment operators okay okay uh, the assignment operator the first and the universal assignment operator almost using in most of the programming language is equal one okay mm -hmm. uh, why we say it assignment because uh, it is used to assign a value like we type their username is equal to and here i type my name so what it mean that this operator will assign the right side value to the left side variable so that's why we say that this is an assignment operator now if i print uh, the username variable look at this is the equation like uh, we did in the algebra like we did in the x is equal to 20 okay it what it mean that the value of 20 will be assigned to x variable this is a number variable and here we are assigning a string habibullah to the variable username if we will print username it will print the value of username and if we will print uh, <coughs> the x you will see it will print the value of x okay so this is called assignment operator uh, in python we have some this type of operator plus equal minus equal static equal these all operators are arithmetic operators and equal and assignment operators okay so far mm -hmm. you can see plus minus static these are arithmetic operator we just uh, discussed in the, our previous class so what uh, happen when these operators are used equally you can see here uh, this is explained here this one is and equal with logical and this is or equal with logical or this is exponent equal with the exponent value and this is also called the increment uh, sorry exponential or the not exponential look at here uh, plus equal x plus equal to 3 is equal to like if we write here x is equal to x plus 3 you understand that if you yeah. want to write uh, x equal to x plus 3 first the value of x will be uh, added in 3 and then the new result will be assigned to the x you understand that look at here here is x is equal to 3 and i write here x is equal to x is equal to x plus 90 okay mm -hmm. now what it means that it means that the first first what will happen first assignment will happen or plus will happen so first plus will happen because plus has greater precedence over assignment operator assignment operator is the least precedence what is precedence let me check if this is discussed here or not uh, i think uh, this is not discussed here uh, i google here precedence of uh, python operators okay precedence precedence okay look at here precedence of uh, python operators what is mean precedence when you use more than two operators in a single equation like this one okay 10 minus 4 static 2 so which operation will be performed first and which operation will be performed after that okay so this is called mm -hmm. the precedence this is the exact spelling of precedence look at here here uh, static multiplication has greater precedence so four will be multiplied with two first it will be eight and then 10 minus eight which will be two and if uh, if you will add parentheses around some operators then the precedence of precedent uh, these pre parentheses are high it means that 10 minus 4 will be calculated first which will be six and then 6 will be multiplied with the 2. You understand what is precedence of the operators? 
Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so this is the total chart of a presidents. Look at here. This is the total chart of presidents about a uh, Python operators. The top presidents is with the parentheses. Then the exponent operator mean the power will be calculated. Then the unary plus, the unary minus and bitwise not, plus x minus x and a not of x. And then the multiplication, the division, the floor division and the modulus operator. After this, uh, there is plus and minus, then bitwise shift operators, uh, left shift and right shift, then bitwise and bitwise or bitwise, and uh, which I want to show you, then there is logical not, logical and, and this is the logical R. You can see here, there is no equal sign here, assignment operator here, okay? Mm -hmm. So what it means that? It means that the precedence of this operator is the least one, okay? Mm -hmm. The precedence of uh, this uh, uh, equal or assignment operator is the least one. So in this example, what will happen? X will be added into 90, means 20 will be added into 90. And uh, after that, 110, the result of 20 plus 90 will be assigned again to the value of uh, X. Look at here, then you will print, there will be. So this is the short way to type such equations. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the shortest way. You can see here, I am commenting this line. X plus is equal to 90 and when you will run this, you will see here the same result. You understand that? Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, you, now you can understand that uh, what is mean by this uh, equation uh, minus is equal to is equal to x is equal to x minus three. And in place of this long equation, you can write in this short way. This is called compound assignment operators, okay? These mm -hmm. are called compound assignment operators because uh, they are the combinations of uh, arithmetic operator and assignment operator. Two operations are performed with the, this operator. First one, multiplication is uh, done first and then equal, the assignment is done at the last. These all operators can work with different. You understand all of these now? You have? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, the concept is there. When you will use these, then, then you will have the concept. Look at, this is the power, the exponential, okay? Exponent. Mm -hmm. Look at this. How uh, how this uh, work here? The exponential operator is about to calculate the power. This is x, and I wrote here x is equal to x double equal two. Means that x square, x square. So it will be output as four hundred because x square twenty square will be equal to four hundred. And when you will write three, uh, it means that you are going to calculate the x raised to the power three. Okay. Uh -huh. This this steric uh, this steric steric is an exponent operator. You know that. When you will run this, you can see here uh, it will be twenty multiply by 20 and then multiply by 20, which will be equal to itself. You can write this as like static static equal three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at, it means that X raised to the power three and then the result will be stored in here. Now we comment this line and we will check either the same result will be produced means the 8,000. Okay. You click on run, look at, again, 8,000 8, is printed. It means that uh, this operator is equal to this one. You understand that? Yes. Okay. After these assignment operators, we have 
these comparison operators which we have already discussed then we have these logical operators okay logical operators are used to combine two conditions like here uh, we, we try here what is the logical operators uh, logical operators are if uh, like we, we value here a x is equal to 35 and we check here print x greater than 30 you will run it you will see here the value yes it, this is space given no need to give space look at here you will see here true okay this is true because greater than operator is a comparison operator it will check whether this statement is true or false if you will give here some value 13 now the result will be false you understand that yes now we use here the and operator x greater than is equal to 30 and x less than is equal to 45 now run it it will be false uh, let's suppose i put here 30 uh, like uh, 35 now 35 means that x is greater than 30 this will be true x less than 45 this is also true okay so, mm -hmm. so true and true true and true will also be true look at the result is a true if we make it uh, like 55 now x greater than 30 is true but x less than 45 is false you understand mm -hmm. that so yes. what, what will be printed this is true this is false this and will print a false as we know that logical and uh, table look at logical and table you can see here logical and table it produces a true result when both result will be true and if one is true second one is false it will return false if the first one is false and the second one is true then it will also be false and when both are false then definitely it will be false this is about logical and now we put here like uh, for example 30 mm -hmm. okay now 13 x is equal to 13 this is true but this is false and again we will get here the false now we get here x is equal to 63 so this is called and operator look at here we, we type here uh, or now x greater than 30 this is true and x less than 45 this is false but r operator when this is true this is false with the help of or what what it means that here the condition is true or false the so true or false will be true because our operator returns true uh, whether uh, either of if either of the condition will be true mm -hmm. so this is about this one what was about the not operator when you will use here like uh, we use here not So the result of this equation is true, but when we you will use not, then it, this condition will be returned as false. So not operator will reverse the results. If the result is true, the not operator will return it to false. And if the result is false, the not operator will convert it into true. You understand that? Yes. So this is uh, basically the operators and with the help of these operators you can uh, make multiple equations you can make multiple expressions you can work with different type of uh, conditions and expression with the help of uh, assign uh, arithmetic operation you make the mathematical equations with the help of uh, logical 
operators, you may you make the logical expressions, and every logical expression returns either true or false. Nothing uh, other uh, result will be happened when you will uh, make a logical end. For example, if uh, I make here uh, with the help of like here, uh, look at x greater than y. This is also logical. If I use x is equal less than equal to y, and when I use x double equal y, this means that either x, uh, the value of x and y are equal. All these uh, examples uh, will return uh, either true or false. So these are logical conditions. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you have any question about the operators and the logical operators? Yes, 